Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a brand new meta that is coming up in the duo lane. And we're talking about double support item start in the duo lane. It is really, really strong and you get an insane amount of gold with this combo. So you need to give it a try. So you could either start with Relic Shield or Spectral Sickle. It really depends on the matchup that you have. I was against Caitlyn and Nami this game as a Lucian. So I knew that I wasn't going to get a lot of gold from poking enemy champions with Spectral Sickle. So I just went for Relic Shield instead. Now Relic Shield is a lot more passive version. It gives you a little bit more health. You don't get the damage like you do for Spectral Sickle, but it's still a lot better than you. You've not probably will get more gold from using relic shield now the thing is with these support items is that the item is supposed to only be used for supports uh, this item will be reduce the gold you receive from killing minions and the monsters now this is if you don't have a relic stack if you do have a relic stack and you last hit a minion you will get 100 of the gold of that minion and your dual lane partner will get 125 of the gold now if your support also has relic shield that means they can also last hit minions and give you 125 of the gold so you can see how it adds up and how strong it can be you get these stacks so so quickly on support items and when the support items are fully stacked you don't get that negative effect anymore you could basically farm as much as you want to and then you're just going to get 100 percent of the gold every single time with relic shield now you're probably thinking you're probably like okay this seems a little bit weird it is very weird and it probably will take some time maybe to get used to because you're not going to have that much ad in the laning phase because you're going to be going for relic shield and getting more maximum health it does make you a little bit more tanky in the laning phase you can heal up as well when you use relic shield to execute minions and it's honestly really really strong you get so much extra gold i can't stress that enough how much extra gold that you can get you just need to try it out yourself or even watch the gameplay a little bit later on and then what you do is you just go for your normal build go for exactly your normal build just play exactly the same as what you did before farm up minions let your support proc relic shield and just play exactly the same as what you usually do you're just going to get more gold over time with relic shield so you're just going to go for your standard item solution which are infinity edge first item we just want to get this as soon as possible and with the extra gold income that you get you're definitely going to be getting this before the first dragon for your boots most of the time you want to go for ionian ionian uh, bleh, ionian boots of fucidity took me some time there um to get the cooldown reduction and then for the boots upgrade you can pretty much go for it wherever you want now the great thing with the support item as well is when you fully upgrade your support item every single time you get a takedown you're going to be reducing the active item of your boots so if you get zonius for example you can possibly use zonius two or even three times during an entire team fight if you get multiple takedowns which is absolutely crazy like i mean zonia's before was expensive now it's actually pretty decent because you could use it multiple times during an entire team fight and it makes it really really strong so bear that in mind when you're looking at boots item uh boots upgrades to go you know redemption is really strong because you can use that during multiple times in a team fight and there's so many other boots upgrades obviously you have the vori quick blades as well being able to dash around a lot with the vori quick blades buff it made him really really strong solari charge blades as well for the crit rate attack speed and ability haste and then it works really well in the Vori because when you use abilities, you gather up Radiance. You can deal dex extra magic damage, which crits, which works really well in the Vori because when you do crit, then you reduce the um, the cooldown of your non-ultimate abilities, which is kind of cool. Serrated's Grudge as well. And then what you do is when your build looks like this, when you have a fully upgraded Relic Shield and you have your full build where it looks like this, all you have to do, sell the Relic Shield and buy a Bloodthirster. That's all you do. You sell the Relic Shield, buy the Bloodthirster, and your full build is done. You, at the point of the late game, when you have five items, Relic Shield is not worth it anymore. There's no point getting Relic Shield. Yes, you're going to lose like the three gold every five seconds, which, by the way, is another reason why the item is so, insane, uh, so insanely strong on AD carries, because you get three gold every two seconds, whatever it is. But at the point of the at the late stages of the game, when you're at full build, you don't need any more gold. So it doesn't even matter. So you just sell the relic shield and you buy your last item, which will be bloodthirster. And then your full build will look a little bit something like this. But that's really, really important. You need to make sure that you sell your relic shield. But at the start, obviously, you want to start with relic shield and then you want to move over to your other items. 
So that's pretty much everything I have to explain about Relic Shield. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, as you can see, you know, my runes are still exactly the same. Kraken Slayer is still insanely strong. Hunter Vampirism, Nullifying Orb, Nimbus Cloak with Flash and Exhaust. But like I said, any questions about this combo, about this duo or anything that you have or any maybe concerns about this that you might not think it might not work properly, trust me, it does work and it's very, very strong. And you're going to be seeing it being popped up a lot especially in competitive we've already seen it being popped up in eu and also in uh, brazil in competitive this combo has already been used so hopefully you will enjoy the gameplay take care of yourselves and stay tuned for the next wilder video peace right i am not gonna be able to poke in this lane at all i think i'm gonna go relic shields i can't go scythe this game it's impossible if i go scythe then we're not gonna get any farm at all because we're against caitlin nami so it's gonna be pretty impossible so I think we're actually going to go Relic Shield this game. We are Relic Shield ADC gamers. Wait, Tethy, go Relic Shield as well, I think. I think we both go Relic Shield. I don't know. You can still go uh, Spectral if you want. Showdown. Oh, it's called Showdown. Oh, yeah, it's a 2v2 mode as well. Ah, let's Showdown. Okay, cool. All right, we are Relic Shield ADC gamers. I don't know if Teffy's going to go for it. Okay, Teffy's going to go Scythe. Okay, or Sick or whatever it's called. Oh, let's do Man Immune to Vine on Senna. Fair. I think Fang is good if you have a lot of... If there's a lot of shielding on the enemy team. I think Fang could be good. Good. A reckoning's coming. <laughs> no, man. I prefer it without, like, real chat. But without recoil is so bad though for 1v1s, I feel like. Okay, Teffy's gonna get infinite gold this game. I feel like Teffy's actually gonna be the carry. Because, because I'm giving 125% extra gold to Teffy for every single minion. Like he has more gold than me already. <laughs> Oh no. This is pretty funny though. Wait, he's also. They also both have spectral. They know it. They know the tech chat. They both also have sickle. Chat, they know the tech. <laughs> they know the tech as well. <laughs> the new meta has started. The new bot lane meta has started. Hey, okay, cannon minion as well. Oh, I have more gold than my Senna. Let's go. Where's this guy going? That was close. close come here center i need relic stacks relic relic <laughs> oh shit i'm back in 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 let me back now it's gold running for storm razor i still need quite a bit of gold it's fine we'll go back give the f sword and and a dagger i guess how are we doing 326 stacks not bad not bad bad pretty decent i would love to see if you can check like other items as well like other support items i think it'd be really cool if they had that in the game okay i'm dodging everything A relic stack. Okay, easy. I mean, great thing about relic as well is that it heals every time. 
So every time we're getting a relic stack, we're just healing. It's crazy. Oh, look. Relic stack, heal. Relic stack, heal. That's basically what we're doing at the moment. Bonkers. Love it. Oh, no. It's bonkers, but I love it. He's 1 HP! Oh no. Let's go, Fiora! Let's go, Fiora! Hog? Okay, we need to back, we need to back, we need to back, we need to back, we need to back. Okay, I have Storm Razor. We're Gucci. I have Storm Razor, baby. Oh yeah, true. Conqueror Omni Vamp actually works for Fiora now. What's other champions that have true damage? I got buffed with Conqueror. Hmm. I can't think who else has changes to Conqueror. Hmm. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. him how did Tethy miss him miss him Tethy just ruined him and he missed him hello hey Tethy checkers wait I went the wrong builds whoops I just realized I went the wrong builds whoops all right we don't talk about chat I, I accidentally went the wrong build on Lucian whoops I meant to go IE into Navori and I've got this build as default that's fine it's whatever we'll go with this in the scene. Vayne, oh, Vayne with Conqueror. Insane Omnivamp, by the way. Oh, they got Dragon. We can clean up, though. I want to get an assist. Oh, well. Okay, they got Dragon, though, which is kind of unlucky, but it's fine, I think. How are we doing on stacks? 300 stacks? Oh, my. Oh, my God. We got, like, 500 gold there. So free. Okay. We nearly are our full, uh, full relic shield stacks. There we go. 500 stacks, baby. That's not good. Exhaust is broken, ladies and gentlemen. Exhaust is broken. Oh, our relic shield's completely fully stacked. Nice. You know the crazy thing about building support items on AD's carries? Is that now you're going to get a reduction on your boost upgrades. It's crazy. So I'm just going to go Zonius this game and see how many times I can use Zonius in one team fight. I'm actually just going to build Zonyas now and see how many times I can use Zonyas in a fight. Actually, though, what could be broken with this? I think Zonyas is probably better. Protobel, I don't need another dash. QSS, meh. Redemption, we already know, is really strong. I just go Zonyas. I think Zonyas, is it, with this is going to be disgusting. Oh, yeah, bug check. Any bug checkers? Look at my gold. Ah, I mean, Tethy gold's not that bad. Actually, no, Tethy doesn't have a lot of gold at all. Any bug checkers? We need to go bot lane for bug check. Oh, 
All right, Tethy, come. All right, he wants to kill first. Doesn't Tethy have to be nearby to be able to get the gold? Haha, <laughs> jabated, baby. Nice. Jabated. Let's go. Sing in. If you put a mind to it, take your whole life, then you put a line through it. My love is yours if you're willing to take it. Ain't gonna break it. Hey, what's up, my so salty? What's up? What's up? But well, I need Tethy to come here. Because I'm pretty sure Tethy needs to be nearby for the bug, right? Okay, Zonius is back up again. Alright, Tethy, come. Tethy, come. I'll check. We didn't get. I don't get past 40 gold. I'm lucky. Bug checkers? No, no bug. No bug this time. Nice, sir. I want to use my Zonius multiple times in a team fight. What's a bug? I just woke up. You basically get, just get like double the amount of gold that you get from farming minions when your support item is fully stacked. <laughs> Wait, we have an AFK? That's not good. reconnected we're saved boys wait i just realized i'm i'm under zero and five. Oh god i didn't realize that how close are we to oh wait what is graves doing free kill they free golds Nine. The hell did I just witness? I'll go back to Lori. I haven't been able to use my Zonyas once this game. This is not really a good way to check if Zonyas is actually good with it or not. Unlucky. Enemy turret destroyed. Go repulsa? Oh, I could go repulsa. I should knock everyone away. <laughs> it happened in a. Uh, it's all over Twitter at the moment, Keys. It happened in Brazilian competitive game. I think even without the bug, it's still so much stronger to go double support item bot lane. So much stronger, even without the bug. Like even now, I have like... Oh wait, how much health do you get again? I mean, even having relic gives you 200 maximum health and 10 ability haste. And you stack it up so quickly. Can I even beat this guy? I actually don't even know. I feel like I can't. 
Oh, I could, but then I also died to him. <laughs> I could, but I also died. But with the bug is too good. True, true. <laughs> with the bug is too good. I tried Repulsor. Repulsor's not that bad. I actually like the extra movement speed that he gave now. I don't think Repulsor's not that bad at all. Yeah, it's all over Twitter keys. If you look at Twitter, then you'll see on there. Like, it's crazy how much gold you get with the bug. Nice, good job, team. Same Baron. Yeah, it's, it's rare that it happens, but it needs to be fixed. It needs to be hot fixed. I think the best thing that they can do is just limit one support item per team. Like, just put a new thing on Re um, Relic Shield and Spectre Scythe that just says limited to one per team. That will solve everything. I didn't get this game. I didn't get the bug this game. But like I said, even without the bug, double support item bot lane. Is so much stronger. Oh, where is what's Graves doing? Okay, Graves is just, <laughs> Graves is just dead. That's what he's doing. He's just dead. Actually, I think I would have done better better this game if I went. Um, sorry, just grudge fourth item. That's okay. Oh, Teffy, mod check. Let's go, GG's. Ten, one, and ten. It's crazy how much gold you get. <laughs> it's actually crazy how much gold you get. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, Tethy got MVP as well. 4 1 and 19. What do you get? He got 12,000 gold in total, which is still more than our top laner. Uh, actually, no, not as much as our mid laner. But Tethy still got a lot of gold. I think double relic shield is probably better, in my opinion. Most gold in the, uh, most damage in the game, though. 22,000. We nearly got most gold in the game. I think double relic shield is probably better, but Scythe also works. It's actually pretty nice. <laughs> GG's, GG's.